Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making over this blanket chest. I found it at a thrift store and I had been looking for one for a while to go in my bedroom uh, so that I could store my pillows in it when they weren't being used. And this just happened to be the right size and it turns out the right price. Um, this one was already painted black. Um, and so that's going to omit that step for me. I'm not going to have to paint a dark color on it so that I have something to distress to. And now I'm using, uh, what, not Waverly, I'm using Dixie Belle chalk paint in the color Putty. And as it turns out, I only need one coat for this. This is only about the third time I've used this um, Dixie Belle paint. And I'm really impressed at the coverage. It, and I've heard that it's highly pigmented, and, and I believe it because um, I, so far I haven't had to use more than one coat. And when you're taking this light color over this dark like this, it, you almost always have to have another coat. And I'm not sponsored by Dixie Belle, but I just recently started using their paint, and so far I'm really impressed with it. So I just go over this whole piece with one coat and let it dry well. And then, um, and then we're ready to move on to the next coat. And this goes really fast, especially with these uh, furniture brushes. Um, if you haven't used one, you should invest in one. They're not real expensive, and and um, they cover really well, especially down in grooves and around. Uh, chair legs and spindles are just uh, a really good brush to use on furniture. I'm not generally a fan of tans, but uh, I'm, I'm liking this color and, and I think it's going to be a really good neutral color so that I can add my stencils later. If you're new to my channel, most of my videos are done uh, at my store when I'm actually open. So uh, when you see people around, that's what it is, some of my customers, I, I try to cut a lot of that out, uh, but occasionally you'll see one, and this one happens to be one of my favorite customers. And we've become fast friends. Um, we both share a love for crafting, and, and that has kind of united us, along with the fact that we're both Christians, and um, sometimes that's all it takes. Although I've sped this video up, you can see here how how easily this is coming together and, and how quickly. Uh, now here, because I've used uh, chalk paint and haven't sealed it yet, uh, I could distress down to uh, the black that was on it, which wasn't a chalk paint. Um, and so when you put a base coat on your piece that isn't chalk paint, and then you paint over it with a chalk paint, then you could just take a damp cloth and rub that down to, to your base color and it, it creates a beautiful um, distress and, um, and very easy to do and way less mess than all that sanding dust that, um, that you get for chalk paint especially. And now here's the stencil that I'm going to use, and I'm going to put that right on top. And um, this stencil was given to me by uh, by one of my friends, and um, I'm really loving it. So here I'm using just a regular makeup sponge uh, to do my stenciling with. Um, I've had better luck with that than the stenciling brushes. I, I really don't care for the stenciling brushes because for some reason I get a lot of uh, that feathery bleed through and it really doesn't matter how careful I am, I, I tend to get that. Um, as you'll see later, I have to use one for a small portion of this one. Uh, because I'm going to be going with a di couple of different colors and this sponge is just too big to get into that area. And uh, somehow this one works out. Uh, but it's it's rare for me to be able to use those without having that, that bleed through. 
And I'm trying to add some contrast to this piece, but still keep my colors neutral. And I do have a little bit of black in my bedroom, so this black is going to be good uh, for that contrast that I need. And then I'm going to be adding some uh, creamy white, not just regular white, although it may look white on this tan, uh, but it, it's a um, just a regular folk art paint. And uh, it's in the color cream, I think. Um, but obviously that color, getting it the exact color is not important at all. You just need that contrast here. You could use any colors you wanted. This line here is where I, I start to use that sponge and realize that it's, um, that it's not gonna work out. And then I have to go back and use just the regular stenciling brush. Uh, I just keep it really dry and I'm really careful and somehow it does work out on this piece. Maybe some of you don't have any problem with the stenciling brush and you're better with stencils than I am. Uh, but I was very tickled to pull this up and see that it was perfect. Okay, and now it's time for the step that I'm kind of addicted to, my white wax. Um, this one is more of a pasty wax and not so liquidy so i can do a large portion of this and it not try to pull that chalk paint off uh, but you can put this uh, this wax on in any direction that you want as a matter of fact it's it's better if you kind of take it and rub it in in different directions to get it down in the grain really well but uh, when you go to wipe that off with the cloth and that's what we're going to do is take a smooth cloth and just wipe it down. Uh, you wanna keep your strokes in the same direction. This step makes more of a difference if you have a lot of detail to go down into, but it does change the color and it definitely changes the texture. It seals it really good and gives it a really good feel. And you can go right over these stencils as long as they're dry and not worry about damaging them because it'll just kind of help seal those in as well. And when you're using these uh, pasty waxes like this, um, when you go to wash your brush out, it feels like it, it almost feels like it's a um, an oil paint and you're not gonna be able to get that out. But all you need is hot water and you'll feel that melt. Uh, if I were putting this wax on something that were that was warm, uh, it would just kind of melt. So, um, so the cleanup is is very easy as long as you have hot water. Okay, and I somehow lost the footage of uh, of this front, and I did put another stamp or another um, stencil here on the front in the middle there, and then those sides I just took the. Uh, the um, stencil that is um, kind of disregards and uh, just kind of inked up one side of it and then toward uh, the middle I just started to fade out that ink and not put as much on and um, and so it just kind of faded into you know from one stamp on the sides to no stamp I know that probably doesn't make any sense to you but you'll see when you look at it uh, I did that on both sides, and I did one on one side. I did start it here at the top, and then on the other side, I started at the bottom. Uh, I felt like that just kind of um, balanced this piece better. And I'm really liking the look of this piece. It, it would fit really well into a cottage, but it kind of has a French country feel also, and I think it's gonna work really well in my space. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos and I hope that I'm inspiring you to, to do some projects of your own. And, and I want to say how much I really appreciate all you who are supporting my channel. Uh, it, it is very appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so if you're liking this, this content. And if there's something else you'd like to see, please, please let me know in the comments. So I'm just keeping wiping this until I get the, the look that I want. 
And I think that it really transformed this piece. And there is the before and the after. And I think it made a really big difference. And don't you just love that stencil? Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.